Monday, 25th of September, 2023. Welcome to Evening Prayer, this Monday in Proper 20. Stay with us, Lord, for evening draws on and the day is almost over. Blessed be the Lord, our God, by whom grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whom rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praise, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of all times. 
to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Amen. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sin. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. True, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Psalm 77 I will cry aloud to God. I will cry aloud and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hands were stretched out by the night and did not tire. I refused to be comforted. I think of God. I am restless. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am troubled and cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. I ponder and search my mind. Will the Lord cast me off, cast me off forever? Will He no more show His favor? Has His loving kindness come to an end forever? Has His promise failed? forevermore has God forgotten to be gracious has he in his anger will held his compassion and I said my grief is this the right hand of the most high has lost his power I remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will mediate on all your acts and ponder your right deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great of God as our God? You are the God who works wonders and have declared your power among the people. By your strength, you have redeemed your people, your children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and trembled. The very depth was shaken. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, the arrows flashed to the floor, and sound of your thunder was in the whirlwind, your lightnings lit up the world, the earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, and your paths in the great waters, yet your footsteps were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be. Amen. The first reading is taken from Esther, chapter 4, verse 4 to 17. When Esther's maiden of her entourage came and told her 
the queen was deeply distressed. She sent garments to, to clothe Modicia so that he might take off his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. And Esther called for Hacha, one of the king's eunuch, who had been appointed to attend her, and ordered him to go to Modicia to learn what was happening and why. Hathrach went out to Modicia in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate, and Modicia told him all that he had happened to him, an exact sum of money that Hanman had promised to pay into the king's treasury for the destruction of the Jews. Modicia also gave him a copy of the written degree issued in Susa for their destruction that he might show to Esther, explain it to her, she judge her to go to the king to make supplication to him and entreat him for her people. Hatra went and told Esther what Modicia had said, and Esther spoke to Hatra and gave him a message from Modicia, saying, all the king's servants and the people of the king's province know that if any man or woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called, there is but one law. All alike are to be put to death. Only if the king holds out the golden scepters to someone, may that person live. I myself have not been called to come into the kings for 30 days. When they told Modicia what Esther had said, Modicia told them to reply to Esther, do not think that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silence at such a time as this, relief and this but deliverance will rise for the Jews from another square, but you and your father's family will perish. Who knows? Perhaps you have come to the royal dignity for just such a time as this. Then Esther said in reply to Maud this year, Go, gather all the Jews to be found in Susa, and hold a fast on my behalf and neither eat nor drink for three days, nor a day, night nor a day. I am my maids, I and my maids will also fast as you do. After that, I will go to the king, though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Modicia went, then went away, and did everything as Esther had ordered him. The word of the Lord. The Magnificent My soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoice in you, O God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generation will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arms and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the helps, help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy. 
the promise made to our forebearers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8-21. to 21. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Quite apart from us, you have become kings. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we might be kings with you. For I think that God has inherited us apostles as lost, last as last of all, as though sentenced to death. Because we have become spectacle, a spectacle to the world, to angels and to the mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in dispute. To the present hour, we are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. And we grow weary from the work of our own, own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become like the rubbish of the world and dregs of all things to this very day. I am not writing this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many feathers, fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. I appeal to you, then be imitators of me. For this reason, I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus, as I teach them everywhere in every church. But some of you, thinking that I am not coming to you, have become arrogant. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not to talk, and I will find out not to talk of those arrogant people by their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk but on power. What would you prefer? Am I to come to you with a stick or with love and a spirit of gentleness? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communi communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffrage Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirits within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our path, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.